Microsoft just made the AI race a lot more interesting again. In the past weeks, what we've been seeing mostly is the release of different papers on upcoming AI projects and it started to feel a bit slow at some point. Cosmos 2 is a new addition to the line of AI products that Microsoft has made over the past months and this is building on the structure of the previous model, Cosmos 1. The mind-blowing thing about this release is the move from the regular large language models to a multimodal large language model, and you can describe this as an LLM with extra baggage. In case that's not really clear, the regular large language model can only deal with text-based input, just like what we had with ChatGPT 3 to 3.5, whereas multimodal large language models promise a lot more than that. This simply means that we get to communicate with AI via other modes outside texts. This step is very crucial if we're hoping to reach AGI someday, and make no mistake, Cosmos 2 is a really big deal if we're to be honest, and I'll let you know why I think so in a minute. Now, Cosmos 1, which was announced earlier this year, had some really obvious limitations with being able to describe images, and that's the gap Cosmos 2 has come to fill. And you see, that's the most interesting thing about these AI models. They tend to get better and better within short periods, and there's no telling what the limit will be to this growth. So what I find particularly amazing about Cosmos 2 is the grounding text-to-image feature. This is basically the ability to pay attention to details in an image, identify them, and describe them effectively and in great detail. You'll find this description in the abstract of the paper on the project, where it says, We introduce Cosmos 2, a multimodal large language model, or MLLM, enabling new capabilities of perceiving object descriptions, e.g. bounding boxes, and grounding text to the visual world. Basically, what Microsoft has done here is that they took one of the greatest weaknesses of the Cosmos 1 and turned it into its strength. And this shift is really important if we intend to make use of these large language models and physical robots. The whole idea behind AI is to create a system that will be able to perform tasks better than humans can ever think of. To do that, it's really necessary that these models are trained to be really good with other modes other than texts. And we're beginning to see some impressive developments with regard to computer vision. I have some detailed videos on this and I'll leave the link in the description for you to check out later. Now let's look at some of the features that make Cosmos 2 a game changer in the field of MLLM and also look at the possible applications that they can serve when fully rolled out. The only access you can get to this right now is the demo version which you'll find on GitHub. We'll still await the full release of the program. On the second page of this paper, Microsoft basically summarizes the functions present in this AI. And these are impressive. The details are just out of this world. The first row of images that you see here are basically the image prompts that were used in the demo. So the AI will be asked questions relating to these images, which is expected to provide answers to. And you can see that under each of these images we have the text prompts with the first saying the left eye of emoji. At this point, let me take you back to something in the abstract I just showed you a moment ago. As they introduced the model, Microsoft mentioned that the models make use of bounding boxes in the description of an image. And while some might find that a little bit off for a model targeting to imitate natural responses, I really think that addition is genius, and I'll tell you why. Look how AI is able to use a bounding box to mark out the left eye of the emoji perfectly. But to drive my point about the use of the bounding box, let me take you to the more complex image here. The generated response to the query, how many cows are here, is two cows present in the image. Now, for someone with visual impairment, for example, the person might not be able to reconcile the response to the image, given that the second cow is crouched over here, seems to blend with the background. So the use of these bounding boxes basically directs the user to these identified components of the image. So now you see that these can come in really handy. And the fact that the AI was able to identify the content in the second image is just impressive. Moreover, the next prompt points towards a whole different function in the AI. In this part, the AI was able to read text from an image. We see that it did just that and responds, the sign says, welcome to Carnaby Street. This is really next level if you ask me. How this model works is that it takes the details in the image and groups them with those boxes. And to be able to understand the image, the AI converts what it has identified to tokens, which are basically languages that the program understands before giving the output. 
Now, what we see from the following images is Cosmos 2 being able to go beyond just element identification to showcase some reasoning. This is just insane. And for you to understand this, the prompt in the first image here says, why is this animal unusual? And the response given is just something you wouldn't ordinarily expect. This animal is unique because it's a turtle. Turtles are known for their slow and steady pace, whereas rabbits are known to be agile and quick. It's not common for a turtle to be faster than a rabbit, especially in terms of speed. Sourcing from the really broad training data, the AI is able to do some quick reasoning and is also able to box the animal it was referring to in the image. I'm not really sure a human will be able to pay that level of attention to that image. The future seems really promising with these technologies. And I'll say again that this will be a major addition to physical robots as they're meant to have direct contact with the environment. It is expected that these will be able to pay this level of attention to the environment in order to prevent certain mistakes that might have some serious consequences. Look at this image here. The AI is asked to identify the difference between two bottles and it was able to run a comparison of the two and make conclusions based on the data that it gathered from just the labels. And it still uses the border boxes here to make focus obvious for the user. Well, I won't really say it's a surprise that AI is developing at this pace right now. I mean, if you follow the news from early this year, we can all relate to the rush that was present then. And I wonder if we'll be slowing down anytime soon. The thing with the creation of systems like Cosmos 2 is that they make room for us to do more with AI. At the start of the AI evolution, we just had mostly specialized systems designed for specific operations and can't really help much with any other things. But modern AI combines all the features that you need and is much more accessible. Let me quickly point out here that Cosmos 2 is not just specialized in image description, but also incorporates the regular text-based natural language experience like ChatGPT and BARD. And Cosmos 2, when compared with the benchmark scores of the other similar models, outperforms them every time. And you can see the different benchmark scores here, and they're really impressive. And there are some stunning practical uses for this new model, and the beauty here is that it's not left to only certain professionals, as the interface can be used by anyone. The grounded pictures captioning feature, as I mentioned earlier in the video, will come in really useful for people that have certain challenges with their eyesight. They can now be able to get a detailed description of things without much help, and this can also aid in learning about new things. And if you're looking for a very detailed description of something, Cosmos 2 can really point out things that you might have ordinarily not paid attention to. And this is the kind of thing researchers are looking for. The reasoning capability will be an amazing problem solving tool for users. These are really impressive, but Cosmos 2 is not without limitations. Now, some users have reported cases of hallucinations. This is just basically the AI describing things that are not actually there. And it seems this is a problem that creators of these models are finding really difficult to tackle, as earlier text-based models have been said to do the same. Things are really moving fast, and hopefully in the coming months, they'll be able to look into this issue and provide a lasting solution. And in case you'd like to try out this demo, you can visit the link in the description to access it on GitHub. But it seems the demand is really high now, so access might not be that easy. When you do check it out, let us know your thoughts in the comments, but meanwhile, check out these videos for more entertaining content. Bye now.